Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This is an HP Pavilion 14, the model is an AV005 and this applies for any AV series uh, HP laptop and in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can add, remove and upgrade the RAM for your laptop. If yours comes with an 8 gig or 4 gig, you just want to upgrade it, I'll let you know the maximum RAM capacity and how to get to those. I'll leave the link for the compatible RAMs and for the tools that I'll use in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. Just remember by upgrading the RAM, you're not going to change anything in the system. Everything is going to be left the way that you had it before. And once we open it up and disconnect the battery, which I don't recommend you guys to disconnect the battery if you're careful, but if you do get to disconnect the battery and you power it on, it will take a few seconds and it will give you a text saying that CMOS reset to default. It's not a big deal. Just press enter. It will reset, restart, and it will go back. I'll show you that in a second. All right. Just first thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely. You want to flip it upside down. You're going to go over the tools I'll be using. A good screwdriver is a must have. Don't get cheap ones. Get a good screwdriver for yourself. I purchased this uh, basic set from my fix set. These are really durable screwdrivers. They have all the bits you need. You're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they're expensive, but if not, get the simple set. But if you do get the process, they will give you an opening tools, tweezers, and stuff like that. If not, for the opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. A curved or straight tweezers, they do come handy. All right. Down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. And there's a hidden screw, which I don't like where they hit it. The hidden screw is in the back, somewhere in the middle here, under this rubber feet. And you have to open, put the opening tool or the topic in between the rubber here and lift it up a little bit so the adhesive it comes up and you want to yank it in 45 degree angle until you see this screw then you just want to simply remove the screw and bring this one back down so you don't want to get, get dust under that adhesive this screw is keeping in one part we're going to get back to that there are two screws that are different sizes these are in the corner ones these are a little bit thicker than the rest so keep these two screws in different piles. So these are a little thicker than the rest. Now, the one under here and the one on the side and all the way in the front row, they're all the same size and height. So don't worry about mix matching them. Remove them and keep them in a same separate pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps them all with me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we removed all the screws that we could on the bottom cover, we're gonna open up the laptop a little bit, just like that. Let me put it this way, right-handed. Now we're gonna stick the opening tool between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that. Now we're gonna twist it outward and we're gonna hit that big in that opening. And we're gonna work ourselves about one or two millimeters. I'm sticking, I'm gonna stick the whole thing in there. We're gonna twist and we're gonna hear those big click sound you think like you're breaking something, but you're not. You're just loosening up the clip. Do this every few centimeters. And do this on the side, about one or two millimeters. Stick it in, don't wanna stick the whole thing in, if you know what I mean. Work yourself all the way to the back corner. Same thing in here. Be gentle. Don't do it in here, otherwise you're gonna break this plastic. Skip it, go on the other side. Gently by the audio jack, by the USB, and to the corner. Once you see this opening, pretty much you're done. You can close it. You can go on the back end, do by the grill in here, stick it in there, and then do a little bit. And the bottom cover just gonna fall up. And there we go. And right away here, we can see the on this model, they do come with two RAMs. These are a DDR3. Now, to remove the RAM, you do not need to disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary, not required. You can just disconnect them, remove them the way you want it. With no problem, you can touch the motherboard. It's safe. It's not risky or anything like that. But if you want to be paranoid or you think that like you're going to drop a screwdriver or some metallic over this section or stuff like that, you can shorten the board. Then, sure, go ahead and pull this cable back. Don't pull on the cables. You want to put your fingers on the side of this jack. I'm going to point it here on this section and this section. 
in fingernails. And then you want to pull it back, what is straight in, straight back, and it will come disconnected. Now you to put it back in, make sure you put it straight in front of the jack, don't put it sideways. And then you just want to simply pinch it in straight. Don't put it sideways. I hear so many people that they removed and they bend the chain in there. I mean, they try to put it in, they create a short and goodbye motherboard. So don't remove that. Just make sure you don't drop any metallic object on the board and you're fine. To remove the rams, all you need to do is to put your fingers on side of on these triggers, metallic triggers in it, and pull them away from each other. And the ram will come out in 45 degree angle, just like this. Okay, you don't want to yank it like this towards the ceiling, otherwise you're gonna break the dim or the ram. You want to slide it back on the same 45 de degree that it came out. So it goes in and 45 degree comes out. All right, this is a eight gig DDR3L. L stands for low voltage, same thing in here. Trigger, 45, pulling it out. Again, these are DDR3L, uh, low voltage, I'll leave the compatible, so you can put an eight gig and an eight gig for a 16 gig with no problem and work just fine. That's the maximum capacity that you can go on this laptop. Now, to put the RAM in, or you wanna add new RAM, make sure the notch on the RAM in here, this notch matches the notch right on the dim. So if you try to put it the other way around, the RAM simply will not go through. So the notches are not matching. So all you need to do is to bring it down in 45 degree, right inside the connector, and simply push it towards the motherboard. When you push it towards the motherboard, you want to hear these triggers open. Watch these two triggers. They're going to open and they're going to close. They're opening, and they close right, and they stay straight. If your RAM, you place it in, you, let's say if I don't put it all the way in, I'm going to pull it a little bit outward like that, and I'll try to push it in. It's not gonna go, they're open, but it's, I can break the board, but it's not gonna go in. And if you put it sideways in, it's not gonna work neither. You're not gonna kill the motherboard or shorten or anything like that. It happens all the time. The board is not gonna, it's just not gonna boot. So make sure it goes in and all the way in there. Next, same thing in here. 45 degree angle inside the connector. Make sure you pinch it in the connector nicely. And when you push it towards the board, it has to go softly, open and close, all right? If you have disconnected the battery, plug it in. All right. Next, down here, you do not need to put the bottom cover to power on and test it. You can just flip it just like this. Uh, let me see if I can do it. Try to get the palm rest on. I'll grab it from here. And you can open it up gently and you can Power it on and see if it powers on. I'm going to power it on. And it does power on. So I'm going to, it's going to flash one or two flashes and it's going to give me a hex saying that the CMOS reset to the default. And no, actually, it didn't because I didn't disconnect the battery for a long time. It's just loading the windows. But if you disconnect the battery for more than 30 seconds, then the CMOS, the capacitors will discharge and the CMOS will reset to default. I can provoke that just by uh, disconnecting the battery and to fasten the process, I'm gonna power it on, hold it for a few seconds. I'm um, just pretty much showing that it's disconnected for a few seconds. Now, there you go, I'm gonna plug it in. Once for all, I'm just going to put the bottom cover on. Just put it on. Push the corner, the front end, and you're going to hear those big, huge, nice click sounds. That's what you want to hear. Put the those the most important screws are the those thicker ones in the corner. Those are for the hinges. Those are the most important one. Put those ones in first, and then you can put the rest of the screws all over the bottom cover. You can put the one first under the rubber feet and the rest just bring it up and put it in there again now let's go ahead and power it on so you guys can see that message that it shows so i'm gonna power on it does one flicker and it should give me or maybe not i had to hold it for longer than a few seconds but i guess i didn't but don't worry, if you get that message, just press enter, it will restart, and it will just simply load the windows with no problem. 
Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your RAM upgrade for UHP Pavilion 14 AV005. And if you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.